I'm on a no heat call today for a gas pack and I noticed the red LED was flashing four times and according to that four flashes says um, well, let's see flame ignition five attempts in an hour and it's locking out and so it keeps lighting and then going off which tells me the flame sensor might not be working I follow the flame sensor wire and it is pinched underneath this transformer so so the wire is pinched behind it somebody somebody mounted that wire behind it or, or put the transform took the transformer off and put it back on it's pinched I guarantee you when I take that transformer and loosen it up this thing will light up and stay lit hoping that the wires not damaged look at there pitched completely flat I bet the wires still good on the inside scare me all right now let's see what happens all right it shut off uh, it's flashing four times again I think that's telling me that that wire was pinched so bad that it's not passing power like it used to. I'm going to cut that out and see if it makes a difference. Okay, I cut the wire out and I was getting ready to put it back in and I was checking this connection and when I was pushing it in and out like this, I heard something crunchy in the back. And so these started falling out. Never seen that before. And still some more in there. Lots and lots and lots of them. So there's no way this board can work properly with all those roaches back there. I've never seen anything like it. I guess because it's over here in the leaves. And we are in the city. So that's what happens. Okay, here is what I found. Lots of dead roaches were behind this board. I took the board off, cleaned out from behind it. All those were in it. More down there. Uh, probably 30 dead roaches. Thank goodness they were all dead. I would have freaked out. Okay. Repaired the wire that was pinched under there. Now it's going to be ready to try to light and we'll see what happens. If it did like it did before, it'll just light and shut right back off. If roach removal corrected the problem, it'll come on and stay on. Side note, you can see where the unit flooded out at about an inch deep on the inside in the past, I think it was in 2015. I don't know why it would have flooded up here, but it did. Okay, here we go. Flames, oh man, it shut off again. Weird. Okay, now I have pulled off this flame sensor that goes down into there and cleaned it and also cleaned the end of the burners seemed to be a little bit of rust in there so let's see what happens this time we just repowered it up this is a very slow ignition on this system definitely a cheaper brand. It's made by Nordine.
Low coals heating up. See what happens this time. It'd be a miracle if it actually lights but after the aftermath of all the roaches being on there. They could have really shorted things out. The board's not made to be shorted out for sure. It's about 45 degrees here in Columbia, South Carolina. That's a huge delay on that thing. Okay. Lit up. Let's see if it stays lit. That takes care of that. I'm going to do a few more checks and call it a day on this one.